Alright guys, so during the hot summer season, right, we will like to have a iced lemon tea. So today we are going to do something very refreshing. So the beverages here is the iced lemon tea. And you can see the learning objective here is to draw the reflections of the glass and then how to make transparent colors, like how to simplify the, the ice cube here, and then how to create the reflections and how to simplify certain details. So for this session, it will be focused on this area. Before that, we need to capture the outline. And you can see the photo here, the photo reference is very low, but we will make it slightly on the center. So when we draw right, we will draw it on the center here. Before we capture the outline, you need to uh, see which area you want to simplify. So this one, you can see a lot of details here, right? So all this area you need to simplify and also understand the structure, right? The glass here, you can see this is half, right? Almost half like that. And then this is like this. So if you understand the cup here, the design of the structure here, it will be easier for you to draw it out. So I will fix this on my display stand. Okay, we will start capturing the outline. I will position it on the center here. So roughly the area of the cup is there, and then the bottom will be here. So slightly smaller bit. Okay, make it higher a bit, slightly higher. Okay, the center of the cup will be around here. Yeah, the bottom will be smaller so you will need to understand that the bottom will be smaller and then the upper part will be bigger so this will be the upper part of the cup the glass cup here so this one go up like that and then go down okay and then slightly lighten a bit the outline too dark already Make the shape slightly rounder. Yeah, but the behind here is covered, huh? so you can't really see already, right? I just draw it out to make sure I understand the position and slightly the thickness of the opener part of the glass here. And then the lemon. Slightly go out and then go in. Yeah, and then the water level is around here, right? So I draw a straight line first. And then here you can clearly see a very strong highlight. Yeah, this one also you need to draw it out. This one is a strong highlight. I make it slightly thicker. Alright, then the cup slowly it becomes smaller, right? So you need to draw out the slanting line to the bottom. And make sure the thickness is the same. Okay, almost the same. Right. And then this is the spoon on the side of the lemon here. then the thickness and also the highlight of the spoon so whatever inside here right inside this glass it becomes slightly distorted due to the the glass reflections right And then some of the reflections here. Just simplify it first, no need to be very detailed. Alright, now the spoon is done. Okay, now this one the straw. You can make the straw slightly longer or shorter, it's up to you. Okay, and then the straw when coming into the glass, right, it becomes less visible already due to the reflections on the glass itself.
So the upper part is almost done and then now you need to continue to finish the lemon here first before you draw everything. Okay, the lemon. Okay, and then the center of the lemon is somewhere around here. So you separate into a few segments. And then it should be like that. Okay, simple one. Okay, now the second piece of lemon should be around here. So this one is the second piece. So when you're capturing the outline, you just capture the big one first, not the small one. Okay, and then here got a, a lot of small reflection. You can just draw it out. And then the water level. And then this is the top part of the ice cube. Later, we will simplify it and the reflection on the side of the glass. Okay, now the design of this structure, this cup, you can see this is the base, right? So I believe you can see this line, right? So the cup structure is supposed to be like this, huh? even though it doesn't show right in the details, you can't really see the details, but I just draw it out so that later I know how to play around with the reflection. Here got a very strong highlight. Okay, now the bottom is already done and then I just simply draw out the shape. Later this area, you will see how I play around with the brush stroke. Okay? I don't really draw out every detail. Okay, but this one you can see there is another layer here. This one is a floating ice cube. Huh? Yeah, the floating ice cube is somewhere around here, but you can't really see. And then this one is the bottom. and then some of the reflections on the bottom they one not important eh? so that's it for the outline okay, you can see a lot of design details that inside here you don't need to draw it out later we will just simplify it okay so the overall glass is like that and then the most important thing is you just need to position the places where you can see the very clear highlights and very clear shapes of the shadows so those are the important area that you need to keep it and then the rest when you can't really see right you just leave it later i will show you how am i going to do the simplify for the area there okay and then after that it's your turn to capture out the outline and then i will lighten up the overall outline all right welcome back so now i'm going to show you how am i going to start yeah i will start from the top part here and then slowly we'll go down okay the top part of course the most important thing is the lemon so i will paint the lemon first the lemon we will use this color this yellow okay so paint out the skin Make sure the color you paint right is cleaner. Eh? And then. And then the bottom area here, you can see the underneath the water here, you can put yellow color straight away. Just like that. And 
clean up the net with more water and then dilute it and then paint another layer of yellow color like this and then just wash it make sure leave the highlight there okay now come to the content here simple we play with a brush stroke same as the the previous exercise that you did right the cross hand just play with the brush stroke and then leave certain area white Just like that. Okay, now put more stronger called tone, the orange color. So you can see the lemon is like that clean nice then you can put a second layer of yellow tone to make the stronger textures there okay now leave it dry use a hairdryer to hair dry okay and then we come to continue to the glass so you can see the glass here got the reflections from the lemon so you put some yellow tone slightly a bit not too much slightly a bit okay one fine line and then the lower here is a behind right you can use a purple blue so i will use gray blue as a shadow here okay, and then you can throw out some reflections Just like that, simple line and strokes. That's the reflections of the glass, and then here also. And draw some fine line there. Okay, now come to this area. Also, you can use back this blue. Then draw a few lines. Okay, now you can see it's a simplified reflection of the grass. Then goes to this area. And then draw a few lines. nice yeah okay, now you put some reflections on the yellow color there on the glass on the on the spoon here and then put some reddish orange And then reddish orange on the glass reflection here. And then put some orange overlay the blue color here and also here. And here as well. Yeah, just like that. Very simple. Then the straw, we will use this blue. Okay, as the base first.
then draw a few lines as a reflection and then put down this stone just like that and then put some yellowish orange tone on the side here Now after the straw is almost dry, put this one and also the red tone to create the purple color. Yeah, just like that. And then here also. The straw is done. And there's some light blue for the reflection here. So you can see the simplified reflection is done already here and then now you can start to draw the water level the water level you just use this orange this strong orange color and then you just draw the lines but leave some gap huh? and then some bubble To draw the reddish outline, reddish orange outline. the spoon use this grayish blue to show the metal Then the contrast tone for the metal spoon. Okay, and then a bit of the yellow reflections on the top area. This one, and also slightly bottom here. And then you need to draw paint over it uh, because you can show the continuity of the spoon. can clearly see already right the glass and also the reflection on the top part the floating lemon on the top part and now come to the bottom area the bottom area is not as difficult as you think okay so you just put one base tone overall base tone you put a yellow tone there okay, use this yellow and then use a bigger brush just paint over the whole thing
Yeah, everything will become easier after you put the base stone there. And now we leave it to dry and dry it first. And now come to the bottom part of the glass here. You will find it somehow a bit difficult, right? Because you see a lot of details there. So it might be very confusing for you to paint this one if you are beginners. Yeah, I forgot the ice cube here, but also the yellow base tone. Yeah, now all you need to do is putting the another layer of yellow, but this time the yellow color is stronger. And then it's similar to the cross sand that you draw, right? But this time you just need to like you leave some gap for the ice cube reflections and then clean out the structure of the reflections of the glasses. Okay, stronger yellow. Eh? Just bear in mind, the outcome of the drawing should be very very nice looking like it is it is not sophisticated and also it is very refreshing so your outcome should be very refreshing Do not overdo Now need to leave it to dry, air dry it. Okay, after that is the orange tone, use a smaller brush. It's orange, mix with this yellow. Okay, and then draw out the, with the shape of it. You can see how I simplify the details. I purposely leave a lot of white gap like that to indicate the ice cube. Okay, purposely leave a lot of blank color there just to showcase the ice cube and then you can draw some line, fine line to represent the, the icy feeling of the cube. So this is the way how I simplified it. No need to put too much effort on it, just only to get the impression should be good enough already. So all we're trying to achieve is just only the impression of the drawing and then make it look more uh, tasty than the original photo. Right, see, nicer already. Then comes to the reflection area here.
and then you can put stronger reddish tone reddish orange tone this one just slightly on the area which is closer to the lemon there And then this lemon Hi guys, for the kind reminder Please like and subscribe to my channel And click the bell icon to get new video updates You know, the bottom area is a similar reflection like this. So this is this one, the base. After that, wait for it to dry first. Now the slightly darker tone, blue mixed with red. Then lighten it, blend it. Okay, head dry it again. Now use the smallest brush, and then I'm going to use this red color. Make it very strong red. Yeah, this one. So this color. Draw out the little small reflections and also the glass detail. Should be green now. Okay, now the base here.
and then the bottom, the darkest tone, blue mixed with red. So you can see the base and also the overall is almost done already and after that uh, the next part will be doing the background and how to make it look more refreshing so now it's your turn to do the practice before i do the background i do some outlining on the straw there and yeah, this one to make it solid a bit So like this is better and then put some yellow color reflections on the part here this should be okay and now come to the background okay, first you need to do the table okay, put water the water then take the yellow color here to the base now now you need to do the reflection orange like that uh, four lines And then use a smaller brush Now head right Okay, and then after it's almost dry, right, clean up your brush and then use a clean water, use a clean cloth and then you just wash the highlight out. So this highlight is looks like the reflections from the glass. Just like that, simple. So now it's the background for the top part. Okay, put water first.
just put a bit yellow to make it glow Leave it dry. Okay, after I apply the background, right, I find the lemon here is not that obvious already. So I need to apply stronger yellow color. Okay, and then hair dry again. After that is the outline of the lemon using this reddish orange. So it will make it obvious a bit. Okay, a lot of things you still need, you you still can do eh, after you have completed this. Put some bubbles. All right. So that's it for today's sessions. So this is the final outcome. Okay, so you can see the way how I paint it. I also do a lot of simplify on the reflections and also the water, the content here. So to make it look like the glass type of effects, right? You need to have a bold strokes and also fine strokes. So the bold one is on the area which is uh, less details, and then the fine strokes just to cut out the shape of the ice cube and also draw some of, of the reflections of the glass. So you can see I obviously make the structure, the design of the glass here a bit obvious. Like leave it blank, leave it white without any details just to emphasize the, the material of itself. So it is very important that you need to learn how to emphasize it using the highlight and also the shadow. You also don't make it too, too dark. You just use a bit grayish, grayish blue like that to create a contrast of tone because orange or yellow color, the contrast color of it is blue color. So I make it grayish blue a bit okay? just for the darker tone so that it has a very dynamic contrast but not too dark. Eh? Everything you need to remember that you need to make it looks very refreshing and also also very pasty looking so if you put too much dark and heavy tones if you somehow make us less appetite on food watercolor so please remember that so that's it for today's sessions now it's up to you to do the practice yeah, thank you very much for joining the session and see you on the next class